I picked up one of these BA101 battery testers, handheld battery testers. I was going to take a look at it on the truck here. I thought I'd just share. One well, of the things that interested me most on this was uh, the charging. It'll test charging and it'll show your ripple ripple current which is AC current coming back uh, bleeding out of the diodes from your alternator through the system and uh, it has a little had a little graph in here which I which kind of really interested me showing spike levels etc so I just wanted to take a look at it and see and so far I like it but I thought I would just make a video and share you know it's pretty simple to work you just put the Put your red clamp up to the positive. Put the black clamp up to the negative. It gives you a Gives you a drop down menu of things you can check out battery in vehicle, out of vehicle, preview data, print data. The print data was something else that I was kind of interested in, kind of a unique feature. But uh, test the battery in vehicle is what I was going to do right now. So you just arrow down to the battery in vehicle, hit enter, battery test. Supposed to turn on the lights um, for about 10 seconds, so I'll do that real quick. I guess to get the surface charge, uh, get the surface charge off. Uh, if you do that, just press enter. Regular flooded battery. Cold cramping amps on this battery is 850, so you enter your 850. It's already in there. Hit enter. It's testing the battery. Saying it's healthy. 635 cold cranking amps. Charge is, is low. Resistance 4.65 milliohms. Good. It's good recharge. So just going to move on to the exit. This screen. Hit exit. Back to battery in vehicle. You got a cranking test, which I'm not going to go through right now. I'm more interested in ripple, which is really one of the biggest reasons I purchased this was ripple. So you just kind of scroll on down to charging test, hit enter, ripple test. But uh, so I was going to go ahead and look at the charging in the vehicle. One of the things that I was interested in was ripple. AC current built, uh, leaking back through the diodes into the system. So you go to battery in vehicle, hit enter. Charging test, hit enter. It shows you, I like the graph, it shows you the graph of the ripple. Increase RPM to 2500 for uh, 5 seconds, so let me do that real quick. Enter again. It's showing 14.31 charging, uh, loaded, unloaded 14.46 with a, a ripple of 10 milli, millivolts. Charging normal. 
if you run all your tests, you can go through here. It has a place where you can uh, scroll down to review data. Oops. Review data. Shows your recharge. Just hit enter again. Cranking test. Hit enter again. It goes to charging test. And then. Uh, in a minute, I'll go in and uh, you can go to print data. And I'll, we'll print it, I'll print it out for you. Right now, what I wanted to do was, uh, right now, what I wanted to do was check the uh, AC voltage, the ripple voltage. Got a couple of multimeters here and just see, see how close either one of them come to the battery analyzer. So, crank the vehicle up and do that real quick. Looking at the end of a 3320 charging bolts off the alternator is looking at 14.46. I turn this over to AC. See what it shows. Point, point zero one one to point zero one two is what this is showing. Volts. And that would be the ripple of current or AC current flowing leaking back through the diodes off the alternator. Check this on a, my other multimeter. On my other uh, multimeter, just looking at uh, charging bolts, this one's saying 14.32. 14.32 volts coming out of the alternator. Switch it over to AC. 0 .0, 0 0.011, 0.010. 0 0.01211 volts AC current leaking back through the diodes. When you get to the point that you want to print the data out, you just scroll down to print data. I've already uh, downloaded all the software onto my computer. The uh, the battery analyzer comes with a C with a CD disc with a disc um, that has all the drivers and the software uh, for the program. You have to download all of that and, and then set your printer up. However, you set your printer up, but you just hit enter on print, print data. It, when you when you pull your screen up, you're going to have a lot of this uh, just stored data on here. You can just uh, go up to uh, clear clears your screen, go back to your unit, hit print data again, and then what you'll see on your screen then is just what you just, just the data that you just took off your vehicle. You can hit print, and it should print out on your printer. And here's the uh, Here's the printed sheet with all your data. I have a classic car that I, I'm in the process of restoring, so uh, the fact that I can print this this uh, information out and store it for uh, kind of appeals to me, just to keep my rec keep records on my car, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But. I just thought I'd share all this with you guys.